last time we saw you was after the Patriots Super Bowl victory. You were you were all of a glow, all of blush. I was, and yes. we were just we had no idea what this whole concept of how long the the football uh, conversation with PSIs was going to oh, last. Please. We had no idea no. at the time what was unfolding. No, and we now did not. here we are on <laughs> Sunday night later. football. <laughs> with the Patriots taking on the Colts and your team not taking any bait this week, no cheese being taken. It's just like another week. But it's not another week for you, is it, Michael Chiklis? Let's be honest here. The fan part of me, absolutely yes. not, of course. Right. You know, but the, one of the greatest things I think, and the thing, you know, Tom's a friend of mine, and yes. I admire him because he will not talk smack. He will not be distracted. He will not disparage another player or a coach or anyone else, mm -hmm. for that matter. And he will prepare, and he will do all his talking on the field. And to me, there's nothing better than that. I just, you know, I, I was raised, you know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. And there's something that incredibly admirable about, you know, letting everybody else do the, the, the trash talking. Yes. And when it comes down to the field, that's it. But don't you want, let's say fourth quarter, not just this week, but any week, up 21, up 28, don't you want to back, send them, let's put Garoppolo in there to take the live shots? Or do you want to really push the pedal to the metal and just rub everybody's no, face? No, I want to beat them by 50 points. <laughs> Maybe 35. Yeah, that's, yeah. What the, that's, what's, that's what's coming. Do you think, Sunday night? Look, I, you can't predict these things. You sure. can't. But right. I know that they will, the Patriots will be prepared. Yes, and uh, and they will be particularly vigilant, I think, this week. <laughs> I love your choice of words right there. Uh, particularly vigilant I this week. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, I have already dubbed this the What Are You Gonna Say Now tour. <laughs> That's a large bumper sticker. Is that a T-shirt? Does it go on the front and the back <laughs> of the T-shirt? <laughs> I have it in my office. Okay. What, what are you gonna say now tour? What are you gonna tour? say now tour? Mm -hmm. From one city to the other? But this has to be the, 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 the circle date on that tour, don't you think, against the, against the Colts? Well, it's one of them. The, okay. the, I think the What's largest one? I think the largest one is the last one. Okay. Why? Oh, you mean, this, that, you mean the one in, in... The last one. The one in Santa Clara, California? Is that what you're saying? If, if everything goes well. Right. You're loving this, Brockman. You're loving every piece of this conversation. Yes. Yeah, yes. because we share the same thoughts. We are mind-melded right now. You are? <laughs> He's been kind of bothering me a little bit because he's trying to tell me what to say. But yes. I'm telling you, I'll get to it. I said it. He's I know you it. got it. It's OK. I'll let you, it's I'll let you okay. write it out. Well, Tommy, it, he's got it. But it's interesting that you guys say that you're connected uh, at the brain and at the, at the dome because Josh Gad, who you know, you went to the Super Bowl with him, correct? I did. OK, you know, he's a big Dolphin fan. Yeah, I know. And, the and poor guy. He came on the show about a week to 10 days after you were on oh, no. the program. And we talked about how you came on and you went to the Super Bowl Something's with him. Something's coming. And this is, what he, this is what he said. Don't blame, don't shoot the messenger. OK. Go ahead and play it. When it comes to the Patriots and his love for them, he's such a bald bastard. That's what Josh Gad said. That I'm such a what? Bald bastard? Yes, that one. That so. word, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's twice we, today. We play it all the time. Uh, um, Whenever he talks about it, Brock. So. That's well, that's right. just again. This is this is bitterness. This is sour grapes. This is a guy who actually has stood next to me, sort of mournfully eating his sausage mm -hmm. and peppers, you know, while the Patriots did what they did. There's a picture. Uh, that I have on Instagram, yes. and he's in the shot. I don't know if you guys have it. Yes. Um, it's just one of the only things that took the joy out of that win for me is we win, right? This incredible, you know, and I named my dog Tom Brady. Um, I did. <laughs> uh, um, and I almost, you know, I almost didn't because uh, of the, the, the interception. I almost went with, you know, uh, uh, oh, my God, his name blew out of my head. Butler. Uh, Butler. Yeah, Butler. I almost went with Butler. Okay. Um, and uh, we went, remember, it was almost like a, a, a Seattle home game because it was, it was definitely a three to one. A lot of 12. Seattle, yeah. definitely. Uh -huh. And we were 10 people in a sea of, of Seattle, right? Mm -hmm. And we went, ah, we went nuts. And I, I grab my wife and I pick her up and I look and right behind me is a, like a, 12-year-old boy mm -hmm. with his face painted mm -hmm. green and blue. Mm -hmm. 
And I will never forget that poor kid's face. Aww. And I was suddenly transported to Fenway Park back in, in the, the day. In the 70s, yes. sure. Yeah. When your team uh, My <laughs> hurt Which will me. go unmentioned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, the Death Star, yeah, as yes. it has been referred uh, to. And I just, it just took the guts out of me, that kid. Right. That, I'll never forget that kid's face. But Gad was, how does one mournfully eat sausage and peppers? He was doing that? He that... was, well, you know, he's a funny guy. He is. And, and uh, he thinks funny, and he does everything for funny. So he's just eating the thing, and he'd look at me like, mm. But just to sit here and have Comfort. the voice of Olaf call you a bald <laughs> bastard was really somewhat out of a body experience, yeah, you know? Yeah, sorry, Josh, but you're a bitter bastard. I got <laughs> The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.